Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel. And in our top stories today, as we cover some very interesting news, as we have taken or we have the luxury here of Milk Bar TV breaking down a lot of the timeline in real time video coverage, which must have taken him quite some time. So these individuals really impressed me with their work and with their skills. I do want to add some level of information and experience from my own experience as a, well, citizen journalist, I suppose you could say. I've covered two different 2A rallies, the Second Amendment rallies at our Capitol, as well as I have covered Dragon Con, a sci-fi convention here in Atlanta as press. Now, I use the term press loosely, I don't consider myself a journalist. I don't consider myself uh, part of the press. I'm just issuing that as a title because that's what I apply for when I go to these functions. I apply as press or as a, uh, you know, a content creator. So I'm going to add my little two cents in and understand I am not saying that it, this is what happened. I am simply saying based upon my personal experience and I will try to uh, give you as much information and evidence as I can to support that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the video. I'm going to go ahead and play it without interruption because I don't want to stop and inject myself into this. I want you guys to check it out. The, the full length. Here we go. He was doing his job. I wouldn't even be doing this. Some beautiful place Look, they're all pointing. The Atlantic, maybe the Pacific. Yeah, someone's on top of the roof. Look. There he is right there. Right there. See him? He's laying down. See him? Yeah, he's laying down. And so I'm here with you fighting like hell to get a center. What's happening? And to make sure we take back the White House yeah. because if we do, we're going to make America better than ever before. We're going to make it. Yeah, look. And it's there he is. Because we have millions and millions Officer. of people in our country that should be here. Dangerous people. Criminals. We have criminals. We have. In recorded history, we're the best border. In fact, if they could ever put up a chart, I don't know if they can do it. Do you guys have access to that chart that I love so much? You don't mind if I go off teleprompter, do you? Because these teleprompters are so damn boring. I try and explain that. Oh, it is. Wow. You guys are doing it. They're getting better with time. My guys, take a look at that chart. Take a look at the arrow on the bottom. See the big red, the red arrow, right? So that's when I left office. That was the lowest point, and that comes right from the government services. Comes right out of Border Patrol. Take a look at that. So that arrow is the lowest amount of illegal immigration ever in recorded history into our country. And then... And then the worst president in the history of our country took over. And look what happened to our country. Probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something, you can
breaking news right now. This is Vanessa Broussard. According to you live from Butler, Pennsylvania, we hear shots fired at the rally not 10 to 15 minutes after President Trump arrived. He hit the ground. Unheard of yet if he has been hit by gunfire. Thanks, Secret man. Service okay. quickly erected. We can see the guy there. I, I think they the hit podium? him because the guy is, he looks dead. Okay, hopefully uh, YouTube won't uh, get too finicky about that shot there towards the end. I may have to blur it out uh, in the video, but you saw me kind of frantically motioning here. Oh, is that going to let me play? Yeah. Okay, so right here is what I want to talk about. Uh, this is the media. And like I said, this is based upon my personal experience. I, you know, I know just when you're in the media and you're working with the press, you want the best shots you can get. And what I can assume, and this is an assumption on my part, is they wanted to be in front to get clear, good shots of Donald Trump, right? You don't want to be behind the person speaking because that's, you know, not going to make for very good uh, photography is not going to very make for a very good video. And so the reason I wanted to point this out, because everybody's like, oh, the Secret Service is telling the photographers or whomever here to, you know, clear them out of the way so they're not harmed, which is not true because the shots are coming from this direction here. And as I said, as someone who has worked this press, you want the best shots that you can get. And sometimes when you're working in these, like when we worked, when I worked the, uh, when I was at the convention, I uh, was taking a lot of, f doing a lot of filming of the parade. And uh, Dan Carroll, who was the head of media there, or still is, I think, uh, for Dragon Con, he walked us out individually into the actual physical parade. So we went in the street in the parade so we could get the best shots. Now, the reason I wanted to bring that up is because if you notice, it's the same people here. See, he's in the front. He wants to get his shot. Now, this is the, from the Washington Post, I believe, Washington Post. And you can see he's in the front. He's the one who, this, this photographer is the one who takes the, 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 obviously now, the iconic shot. So as you can see, they're in the front. Front, which is where you want to be when you're media. You don't want to be taking a picture of the back of someone's head or, or the back where they were originally. So when the Secret Service was motioning for them to go forward or to move, I'm going to assume here they are right here because you can see her with the hat um, in the other picture. They wanted to be in front to be able to take uh, pictures of Donald Trump. So we're going to go back and we're going to look at it so you guys can see. That it is the person with the hat. I think I mean, country, they're, they're, they're probably right here. I, well, he's he. I'm sorry, he has a hat. But as I said, there she is, right there, right there. So, as I said, you know, people want to be in. They want to be in the front where they can get everything done. So, uh, I don't think that that. You know, there's so many conspiracy theories going around or anything. But I, I just know from my own personal experience that you know that that's what I can give you as an explanation. Okay. Um, that's my explanation for that. And, and, you know, and I stand by that. Now you saw this big spray here. This was another thing that people talked about. I'm not, I'm not sure why it was such a big deal. Um, let's see, where's the tractor, where the tractor is here. And this is really isn't like a major big deal or anything, but I think it's worth noting here if I can find it. So it's not... So anyway, during the oh, oh, let me go ahead and get to this while we're here. Now they're motioning because Corey, the man who was killed, was shot right over here and he fell down and, and he was down right here. So they're motioning, they're motioning for medics. He, see, he's showing that the individual was shot, right? He's indicating with his hand where he was shot, and that this young man here was trying to yell for medics. And you can hear the people yelling for medics. And I think this woman here was interviewed on Fox. I, you know, I, I know like her and her husband were, were actual physicians. I think it was. I know the I know that the husband is a physician, but I, they tried to get to him, and then you know were like, oh, you know, are you really a doctor? This, that, and the other. Uh, so they're trying to get over there to him. Shots are still continuing to be fired. Now, that's interesting. That shots were still being fired, which is which is okay. So Trump is up. And okay, so here's our photographers again, as you can see from the Washington Post. There they are, getting in the front because they want you know they want that shot. There it is. They showed it real briefly. They want, they want their shots. There it is, right here. Okay, so there's the shots. This is Trump here, 
and Corey's going to be on that side right there. Now, what happened was the shots went from, let's see if I can do it kind of a slow. Okay, so here's Trump right here, and the shots are going this way, okay? So they're going across here. Corey is sitting right over here, and he gets hit. And so we know that we know the, the direction of the bullets are going that way. I, I, I apologize for using such uh, basic <laughs> language here. But what happens is, is the bullets hit a hydro. So they hit Corey, and then they hit the hydro on this tractor. So these are all very significant things. So you see the hydro, you see the tractor starting to go down because the hydro is leaking. So we know that the fire went all the way across, or the, the bullets, uh, 223 rounds is what many people are suggesting that it was. I know I mentioned in a previous video, uh, 22. I was curious if it was a 22. I, I did not want to confirm or suggest or imply that it was, in fact, 22 rounds. I was simply saying that when I was talking with a friend, we were wondering if they used 22 rounds, but it appears to be a silenced semi-auto or suppressed semi-auto 223, uh, probably an AR variant of some sort, of course. I know people throw that word out there, AR, all the time. But as you can see, that was so that's essentially the direction of fire is across from where Trump was this direction. I, I don't know east west. Uh, so I don't know what 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 orientation this is, but the bullets go across and apparently we're still going off because there's the hydro going off. We can see the hydro go off. So shots are still going off and then there goes the hydro. So um, I thought that was another piece of the of the of the video that I wanted to share with you guys. But I still think, uh, just from my own personal experience as far as the photographers, is they just were asking permission to go up front to be able to get pictures from the front and not, you know, obviously, from behind Donald Trump. They want to be up in the front taking those particular images. And, of course, we've discussed this here on the channel because we're always, we're always hearing about the rhetoric from Trump, the rhetoric from Trump, the inciting from Trump, the things that Trump say, the, the, the what was it, uh, the, the Vijaya Gotti said on uh, Twitter when they, when they removed him from Twitter, when they couldn't find anything that he said being worthy or violating Twitter, she said something to the effect of, well, you know, it can be interpreted as. So you see, when it's the elites, when it's the establishment, when they're in power, when they're in authority, they can make the decisions and come up with whatever hyperbole they want. But as you can see here, as they call hyperbole, Joe Biden, Donald Trump is a genuine threat to this nation. He's a threat to our freedom. He's a threat to our democracy. He's literally a threat to everything America stands for. Think about that language. Why isn't that hyperbolic? Why isn't this front and center right now? It's time to put Trump in a bullseye. I mean, I don't even know if, how YouTube is going to feel with me saying these things, too. And then, of course, from Vox, Democrats say Trump is an existential threat. They're not acting like it. In the stakes of a 2024 election, as a great as great as the part says, there's no excuse for inaction. So they're like, you know, th these people are advocating for something to happen. Biden targets extremist Trump allies as democratic threat in fraught political moment. So we know the language. We know the language, and it's you know, of course, they can use it all they want. Here's George Takai, uh, Takai from Star Trek. I don't know if he actually tweets these himself but this was on the 14th uh, this was a day after trump remains an existential threat to democracy we'll defeat him with ballots not bullets so he's basically just uh, parroting what uh what joe biden said in his unity speech although biden said ballot battle he said battle box battle box there we go battle box instead of ballot box and then if you guys want to see the two-minute version of all the inciting that the democrats engage in then uh, the post millennial on Twitter. Now the reason, the other reason why I'm also filming this is because uh, during the time that I was posting a lot of this information, I would link people Twitter uh, content, and they couldn't see it because they didn't have a, a Twitter account or they didn't have access to Twitter of some sort. You don't have to have an account, but according maybe on mobile phone, I don't know. I don't use mobile. I use PC. I can access whatever I want, whether I'm having an account or not via PC. So a lot of them were they weren't complaining. They were just saying, "Hey, I can't see this. I can't see that because." I don't have Twitter on my phone and so forth. So um, it's pretty extraordinary footage, though, that Mike went through all this trouble of putting this entire thing together. But if you guys do have Twitter, and I encourage you, if you do have it, you know, obviously follow me here on Twitter because I am here. And uh, here I am right here. But uh, going back, and uh, if you guys want to look it up, go to Milk Bar TV. You guys can see the, the full video there and uh, get, you know, check that out. 
But I just wanted to share this with you guys and just give you a little bit of input as to as to what I thought. I'm very happy that uh, Trump picked uh, J.D. Vance as his vice president. I think it was a really great decision. I want to thank all you guys across New Tech as well as here on YouTube for your guys' continued support. Appearing there on the screen up be the channel icon. You guys can click on that to subscribe to the channel, as I encourage you guys to do so, as well as to share. And, of course, like and comment down below your thoughts, opinions on what all is going on. How has this changed America? Where were you when you found out about what was happening, as the people like to often say? And uh, so I appreciate all that. And uh, you can click on that and uh, get notifications so you'll know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.